Good morning. We are almost to the conclusion of the beautiful and holy season of Advent. This Friday, uh, in our cathedral at three o'clock in the afternoon, I will ordain one of our seminarians, Dominic Bauck, to the transitional diaconate. So in our conversation today, I would like to just explain briefly uh, what the transitional diaconate is and, uh, of course, what we're most familiar with, the permanent diaconate. Now, both uh, are received through sacred ordination. A man ordained a permanent deacon or a man ordained a transitional deacon are both called by the bishop to ordination who represents the church. Both men, once ordained, receive uh, particular assignments in which they will exercise their diaconate. However, there is a, a, an obvious difference between the two. A man uh, who will be ordained a transitional deacon, such as Dominic Bauck will be, uh, exercises his diaconal ministry as a preparation for exercising priestly, ordained priestly ministry uh, once he receives ordination to the sacred priesthood. A permanent deacon, once ordained, exercises his diaconal ministry uh, as the, the word itself implies, in a permanent way. And it will usually be in a parish setting in every way that diaconal ministry is exercised. It can be exercised liturgically. Uh, most frequently it's exercised uh, in um, uh, works of charity, uh, assisting the, the pastor and the parish in serving those who are in need of any kind. And also it can be exercised, as so often it is, uh, in the uh, evangelization and Catholic education of members of the parish or parishes if he's assigned to a cluster. But the transitional diaconate, to come back to that, which we will celebrate uh, this Friday afternoon with Dominic Bauck being ordained a transitional deacon, will give him that incarnation as a cleric. So there are many similarities between the permanent and transitional diaconate, but the transitional diaconate is the first step a man takes uh, in being ordained in anticipation of receiving sacred ordination to the priesthood. And so uh, this great event in the life of our diocese, as well as in the life of Dominic Bauck, uh, will be a tremendous blessing for all of us. And then uh, both he and Jared Wolf, who are classmates, will be ordained to the sacred priesthood next June 11th, again in our Cathedral of the Holy Spirit. May God bless you during these last few holy days of preparation. Music